Peggy 12. Hello everyone. This is Satoru Iwata from Nintendo. Today, I'll share with you information about Nintendo 3DS directly. As with our last Nintendo Direct in February, we are broadcasting this Nintendo Direct simultaneously worldwide. Thank you for joining us today. First, since this is the year of Luigi, I would like to follow up with additional information about a few upcoming games that feature Luigi. First, I would like to share more details about Mario and Luigi Dream Team Brothers. We introduced this title during our February Nintendo Direct. Today, we would like to focus more on the story and new gameplay added to the game. The story takes place on the island called Pilo Island, where mysterious ruins exist. The story begins when Mario and others are invited to this island for sightseeing, while everyone is touring the island. Princess Peach is mysteriously kidnapped and pulled into a dream world. The gate to this dream world only appears when Luigi sleeps on a special pillow with magical power. So Mario must go back and forth between the real world and Luigi's dream world to rescue Princess Peach. In the real world, Mario and Luigi must cooperate with each other to solve various challenges using gross moves. The familiar brother attacks which inflict greater damage during battle sequences also remain an option. There are more new actions in the battle, and the battle scenes use the 3D visuals of Nintendo 3DS to create exciting new battle sequences. Especially during battles, there are more new actions and visual presentations which utilize the Nintendo 3DS system's unique features. So, the game offers a wide variety of gameplay experiences. In the dream world, the player must interact with sleeping Luigi on the bottom touch screen to make changes on a game field and solve puzzles in the upper screen. In addition, the player must control a large number of Luigi's to advance through a level or use those Luigi's to run over a group of enemies in battle. There are many fun and dynamic actions in this game. Mario and Luigi Dream Team Brothers will be out in stores and in Nintendo eShop on July 12th. You are very busy now since there are so many games featuring Luigi, huh? What? How are there so many Luigi's here? Next is new information on a game we introduced in February. The latest installment in the Mario Golf series, Mario Golf World Tour. There is still a little time before we release this game, but since this is a global Nintendo Direct, I wanted to take this opportunity to deliver to all of you information about the wireless features you can look forward to. I suspect that, based on the subtitle, World Tour, you may already be anticipating this. If you connect your Nintendo 3DS to the internet, you can play competitive multiplayer against players across the globe. These internet matches will not only feature real-time play against other players, but will also let you upload your scores, allowing you to test your skills in large-scale tournament competitions. This game will also use the community feature that so many of you have used in Mario Kart 7 to allow you to connect and play with like-minded players or create and recruit players to communities based on particular themes. 
We created this community system to make it easy to enjoy the multiplayer features, and I hope you will make a great use of it. Of course, you can rest assured that the game will feature local multiplayer as well. In addition to the online and community-based multiplayer I just introduced, you can also set special conditions for joining these matches. For example, you can use traditional golf rules with no special shots, compete in short courses at certain times, or create a tournament in which you can only play as Luigi. It's a system that lets you enjoy playing however you like with players from all over the world. Mario Golf World Tour will launch this summer. Next is a title featuring Luigi that we weren't able to introduce in our Nintendo Direct in February. It's the newest installment in the Mario Party series. The basic gameplay concept of rolling the dice, moving along a board, and competing in minigames remain. But in this title, for the first time, we have a total of seven game boards, each with their own set of rules. There will be a board where the interaction with the other players will be very important as you make use of a variety of items to both interfere with your opponents and to move yourself along. In another board, you collect boosts as you play in hopes of using them at just the right moment to multiply the number on your dice and make a huge comeback in one turn. There will be another board that tests both your luck and your nerve as you move your character, where you have to decide whether you will hide in safety or whether you will risk moving despite the blood bills that could shoot through the map at any time. The gameplay changes dramatically on each individual board. And there are some maps where victory is decided quickly, making it a game that is easy to enjoy even if you don't have a lot of time. The minigames include some that test your speed, some that test your concentration, some that test your luck, and some that leverage the unique hardware features of Nintendo 3DS. We prepared 81 new minigames, offering tremendous variety. This includes minigames which use AR cars, brand new puzzle games, and a lot more. We plan to release this new Mario Party title for Nintendo 3DS this winter. Next is more information about New Super Luigi U. As I mentioned during the Nintendo Direct in February, New Super Luigi U is downloadable content for New Super Mario Bros. U, where instead of Mario, Luigi is featured as the main hero of the adventure. The world map is the same as New Super Mario Bros. U, but we completely changed all 82 stages to let you experience a brand new adventure. This is almost like a brand new game, but yet it is downloadable content. Today, I would like to show you some new features unique to New Super Luigi U. First, you can play the game with Luigi's unique capabilities. What Luigi is known for is his powerful jumping. He can jump higher than Mario, so he can reach higher locations and clear big spaces that Mario couldn't. Of course, it's also harder for him to stop after dashing it's part of Luigi's characteristics. As for the courses, all of them start with only 100 seconds on the timer. Because you have less time than New Super Mario Bros. U, 
There are many obstacles concentrated in the shorter stages. These courses are designed so you will be tempted to play them again and again. New Super Luigi U is scheduled to be released this summer during the year of Luigi. Next up is additional information on a title we introduced in the Nintendo Direct in February, Donkey Kong Country Return 3D. With stages designed not only from left to right, but also with depth from front to back, the game is a perfect fit for the 3D visuals of Nintendo 3DS. So, we've taken a game that originally launched for Wii and remade it under the name Donkey Kong Country Return 3D. In remaking the game, we have added a special new mode where we have adjusted the game balance to better optimize it for portable playability. The Wii version was created with the notion that people would settle in and play through long stretches of the game, which resulted in just the right game balance of challenge and playability. But on a portable system, people tend to play for a shorter duration, so we've adjusted the difficulty balance in the added new mode to take this into account. First, we've increased the number of times you can get hit by an enemy. In the added new mode, Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong now have three hearts each instead of two, allowing the player to take up to five enemy hits. Also in new mode, we filled the game with more items to help Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong on their adventure. Items like the portable DK barrel, which can call Diddy Kong out at any time, the green balloon, which floats you back up to the level once if you fall down a pit, and the crash guard, which protects you from up to two crashes when riding a rocket barrel or minecart. New mode is great for on-the-go play, and we also recommend it to anyone who is new to the Donkey Kong Country series or who found the Wii version to be too challenging. Of course, we have also included the original mode, which will let you play the game with the same balance and difficulty level as the Wii version. So those of you who have confidence in your skills can take on this challenge. Together with this remake, we've added eight new levels within a new world, which you can play only after clearing the main game. These stages will offer plenty of fun even for those who have done everything in the Wii version. I hope you will be looking forward to these new levels on Nintendo 3D. Players can also enjoy the game cooperatively, playing as both Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong via local wireless connection. Donkey Kong Country Return 3D will launch as a packaged game as well as in the Nintendo eShop on May 24th. Up next is the latest game in that series. You know. The one where Yoshi is a hero and he carries baby Mario on his back. I'm sure many of you have guessed, but the video you are currently watching is from a new Nintendo 3DS game in the Yoshi's Island series. The first Yoshi's Island game was released on Super NES in 1995 and a sequel came in 2006, Yoshi's Island DS on Nintendo DS. Now, several years later, the third installment 
in the Yoshi Island series is coming to Nintendo 3DS. This game maintains the series' fun gameplay mechanics, such as Yoshi's Flutter Jump, Ground Pound, and Egg Throw. It also offers new actions which utilize the Nintendo 3DS system's unique features to make the game new and fresh. We will offer more details about the game and the launch date in the future, so please stay tuned. Carrying on the tradition of the Mario vs Donkey Kong series, in which you must skillfully manipulate object to guide the toy mini Marios to the goal is a brand new action puzzle game coming to Nintendo 3DS as a downloadable title, Mario and Donkey Kong Minis on the Move. In this game, your objective is to place different types of tiles on the flat map shown on the bottom screen to guide the mini characters to the goal. The upper screen displays the various paths and obstacles in 3D as the minis make their way through the level. This gives the game a different feel than the Mario vs Donkey Kong series. In some instances, you have a limited number of tiles guide two characters simultaneously, or even navigate them through giant areas. There's a huge amount of variety in this game, with over 180 different stages across four different modes. In addition, it's also possible to upload original stages that you've created or download stages created by other players from all over the world. Separate from the main action puzzle game are four different types of unique mini-games, all of which make use of both the 3D screen and the touch screen, so you have plenty of ways to play. Mario and Donkey Kong Minis on the Move will be available exclusively in the Nintendo eShop on May 9th. I'd now like to spend some time discussing Wii U. Regarding the system update I mentioned during the January Nintendo Direct, this will be released next week. As I mentioned before, this system update will improve the loading times when switching between software or returning to the Wii U menu. Additionally, it will add new features such as the ability to copy and move data between two USB drives, automatically install new software you have downloaded in the background while you are playing a game, and automatically receive updates even without starting up the software. There will be other improvements such as being able to press the B button while the hardware is starting up to go directly to Wii mode. Also, after you have started downloading software, a new standby function will enable your Wii U to continue the download and to install the software, even after you turn off your Wii U, saving you time as well. I also mentioned the Wii U Virtual Console during the January Nintendo Direct and this service will start the day after the system update becomes available. Here are some of the Virtual Console titles we will be offering after the service launches. As we shared in January, Wii U Virtual Console games can be played in off-TV mode on the gamepad, and each will have their own Miiverse community. 
Also, following the update, Wii U Panorama View will be available from the eShop. This is a completely different experience than the Wii Street View powered by Google application that we launched in February and allows you to watch in every direction as some of the world's most exciting destinations come to life around you through the Wii U gamepad and your TV. The free downloadable demo includes a sample of the kinds of experience the application has to offer. The individual Wii U Panorama View video tours can be downloaded for €1.99 or £1.79 each. We hope you will give them a try. We also have some additional information on Pikmin 3. In addition to the Rock Pikmin, we showed you at last year E3, we would like to introduce you to one more new Pikmin type. This is a video we showed you at last year's E3, but to tell you the truth, we actually showed this new Pikmin type in this video. Some of you may have noticed it back then. See, right here, they are flying, aren't they? This is a new Pikmin with wings, and it can fly. They are called winged Pikmin. They fly and follow the player, and they can carry items in the air as well. As you can imagine, they will be helpful in different ways than the other Pikmin types. Pikmin 3 will be launching in just a few months. See, there is a winged Pikmin on the package as well. More details about the game will be released gradually between now and launch. Please stay tuned. The last news from me is about Earthbound, which I was also directly involved in as one of the game programmers about 20 years ago. In Japan, this game was released as Mother 2, and it has been available as one of the NES 30th Anniversary Virtual Console titles in Japan since March. After the January Nintendo Direct, very passionate fans in North America and Europe shared their strong wish for this title to be released in their market as well. This time, I happily announce to you that this game will be available as a virtual console title in North America and Europe by the end of this year. This game's creator, Mr. Shigesato Itoi, and myself are very happy about this as well. We will announce the actual release date at a later time, so please stay tuned. That's all I have to share with you today, but there is more news coming up next. Now I'd like to hand you over to Satoru Shibata, who will update you directly on game news for Europe. Thank you for watching. Many thanks, Mr. Iwata, and welcome everyone to the European specific section of this Nintendo Direct. First, a reminder that this Friday, Fire Emblem Awakening is available on Nintendo eShop and in shops all across Europe along with a limited edition pack, including an exclusive Nintendo 3DS XL and a pre-installed copy of the game. We mentioned the map add-on contents in the last Nintendo Direct. Today, I also want to announce that map packs will be available for purchase in Europe. With each map pack, you will get three maps at the cheaper price than if you bought each one separately. To celebrate the launch of the game, the first map, Champions of Euro 1, will be available for free for one month. And the Champion Pack, that includes the first three maps, will also be available at a discounted price during that period. <laughs> Last month, we launched LEGO City Undercover on Wii U across Europe. In this game, we met the legendary Chase McQueen, 
and took him on a mission to put Lego's fury behind bars. Now we have another installment of the Lego City series coming to Nintendo 3DS in Europe. This new game in the Lego City series places you to years before the Wii U game and explains how Chess McCain, the rookie cup, became the legend he is on Wii U. Please take a look at this trailer. Lego City, the most stad ter wereld. The stad where I am a police agent. Ben geworden. What do you there, McCain? Oh, uh, niks hoor. This was McCain's dagboek, deel 1. The donuts are up, gaan niet halen. Yeah, baas. Rex Fury is a gevaarlijke crimineel die een serie overvallen heeft gepleegd. Maar we kunnen het niet bewijzen, want hij pleegt zijn overvallen altijd in vermomming. Waar komen die vandaan? Zoek uit wat ze van plan zijn en steek er een stokje voor. Ik ben vandaag onverslaanbaar. Oh ja, echt waar. Lego City Undercover The Chase Begins will arrive in shops and on Nintendo eShop on April 26. Next, I have some news for Animal Crossing fans in Europe. Just recently, we have launched a number of official new information sources both for Animal Crossing fans and also for newcomers to the series. On Twitter, you can follow the updates from Isabel, your assistant in the game, as she prepares for the arrival of the new mayor in town. You can also join the Animal Crossing community on Facebook for the latest news and fun facts about the game. The official website is also open today and features plenty of information and a dedicated Iwata Asks interview for in-depth background on the game. Now I would like to show you something you might not have seen before. When you live in Animal Crossing New Leaf, you can create any kind of town you like. My town has lots of flowers, so I have to do lots of watering. As in previous games in the series, you can have up to three friends visit your town at the same time. But in this new game, you can also use the Dream Suite to visit the towns of other people anytime you like. When you use the Dream Suite, you go to sleep and then dream about another town. And because it is a dream, you can do whatever you like without undoing all the hard work of the other mayor. Here, I'm dreaming about a town that belongs to Imamura-san, one of the developers at Nintendo. In a dream, you can explore and see all the different things other people have done to get inspiration for your own town. If you see a custom design you like in someone else's town, you can sometimes take that design back to your town and do something fun with it. Wear it on clothes, display it outside or even create furniture with it. I found a familiar design in Imamura-san's town, so I used it to make something to put in my house. And here it is, with a lamp like this, it should help me remember who the boss is. I hope you enjoyed that deeper look at the features of Animal Crossing New Leaf. Now I'd like to show you this. It's a special edition Animal Crossing New Leaf Nintendo 3DS XL.
The Nintendo 3DS XL comes with this Animal Crossing theme design and the game pre-installed on the system. It's another way to enjoy playing this title. Don't forget you can also download it from Nintendo eShop if you already have a Nintendo 3DS. And this is a great way to make sure your game is with you at all times, wherever you are. Of course, you can also purchase the retail version from your local store if you prefer the physical game card. Whichever your preference, all these ways to play Animal Crossing New Leaf will be available June 14th. We've released some great new titles for Nintendo 3DS already in 2013, and there are plenty more to come. Here's a roundup of some of those games. Available now are Castlevania, Rose of Shadow, Mirror of Fate, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, Luigi's Mansion 2, and coming soon, Fire Emblem Awakening on April 19th, Lego City Undercover The Chase Begins on April 26th, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity, on May 17th. Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D on May 24th. Animal Crossing New Leaf on June 14th. And Mario and Luigi Dream Team Brothers on July 12th. These next two games were first released ages ago on Game Boy Color, but soon newcomers and seasoned players alike will be able to experience them on Nintendo 3DS. Coming to Virtual Console in May, The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages and The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons feature classic Zelda gameplay with a twist. In Oracle of Ages, Link uses the Harp of Ages to travel through time, solving puzzles and discovering areas. If you plant seeds in the past, they will be fully grown in the future, for example. In Oracle of Seasons, leaves fall, and rivers can dry up or even freeze over, depending on the season, which you command with a lot of seasons. Of course, you can play these titles separately and enjoy traditional Zelda action and puzzles, but you can also connect both games to discover new content. After completing one adventure, you will receive a special password to enter into the second game, unlocking different events and surprises, including a new ultimate final boss to defeat. Both games will be released on Nintendo eShop May 30th. And now I'd like to introduce some upcoming Nintendo eShop titles from Level 5. Known as a Guild series in Japan, these games offer new experiences from some of Japan's top game creators, and three of the newest titles are coming to you. The first game is a Starship Damray from the creative duo of Kazuya Asano and Takemaru Abiko, who are known as pioneers of the text-based adventure and the visual novel genres in Japan. In this game, players find themselves in a suspenseful adventure that does not provide them with any tutorials or objectives at all. Players will have to find what little information they can in order to discover the truth of their circumstances. The second title is Bugs vs. Tanks, a game from Concepts, Keiji Inafune, known for creating the Mega Man series as well as many other hit franchises. Players control a World War II tank squad that has been shrunk to the size of the bugs that they must now fight. Customize your tank to fight the swarms of giant bugs and do your best to survive in this hostile, microscopic world. Finally, we have Attack of the Friday Monsters A Tokyo Tale by Millennium Kitchen's Kaz Ayabe 
who has entertained many Japanese fans with his heartwarming stories. Players will take the role of a young boy named Sota, who lives where the giant monsters from the TV shows of 1970s Japan come to life every Friday. The town and the people of the era have been brought to life in a new Tokyo style fantasy that gives players a glimpse into the various events that unfold in this world. All these Level 5 games are coming soon to Nintendo eShop for Nintendo 3DS. Next, a new Atlas game that is coming to Europe, Shin Megami Tensei 4. In the game, you will become a samurai recruited to a secret order tasked with defending the world from demons. The choices you make affect not just a hero, but the whole world. They can save or destroy the people living underground in the shadow of evil. Battles are turn-based, and players summon demons to fight with powerful attacks in a blend of traditional Shin Megami gameplay and new ideas. There are over 400 demons to find, recruit and fuse together in the game. Each has their own personality, so you will have to use all your cunning to win them over to your side. Built specifically and exclusively for Nintendo 3DS, Shin Megami Tensei 4 features 3D dungeons, voiced dialogue, and street pass functionality. Enjoy epic story arcs, optimized graphics, and powerful new demons when Shin Megami Tensei 4 comes to Nintendo 3DS. The Professor Layton series has many fans all over Europe, and all those fans know there is just one game left in the two trilogy series. I am one of those fans, and I played the entire first five titles. Some of the endings actually made me cry. Well, now I can confirm for you that Professor Layton and the Azuran Legacy will be released in Europe later this year. In the game, the professor receives a letter from a fellow archaeologist, which will take him all around the world, solving the riddles of an ancient civilization known as the Azurans. Expect new characters, new story twists, and of course new puzzles. Professor Layton and the Azuran Legacy will be released in Europe later this year. Now, take a look at this trailer. I'm really happy to confirm today that this game, which we know fans have been eagerly anticipating, is coming to Europe later this year. And finally today, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past was originally released for the Super NES in 1992. We are currently developing a new game with a new storyline that will take place in the same game world 
for Nintendo 3DS. What we want to achieve with this new Zelda game is to reinvigorate the flat 2D world of A Link to the Past with a sense of height and volume using a three-dimensional display of Nintendo 3DS. With it, it's easier to differentiate levels in the environment, and we can truly utilize height differences in dungeons as a puzzle-solving mechanic. While this game is set in the game world of A Link to the Past, it features entirely new dungeons and the original storyline. Also in this game, Link can become a drawing and move within walls. By moving in the walls, your viewpoint changes and you can see the connections within the area you are in that you couldn't observe before. This new mechanic will play a key role in solving puzzles in the game. Because we want you to directly experience the game world with the full 3D visuals of Nintendo 3DS, we have prepared a 3D video that will be available in Nintendo eShop shortly after this presentation. We will be launching this new Nintendo 3DS game in the Zelda series towards the end of the year. I hope you enjoyed a Nintendo Direct today and are looking forward to all the Nintendo 3DS titles we looked at. Thanks again for watching and happy gaming!